Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Doctor Who, this is season 20 and this is part one of Mordron Undead. Last episode we had to re-defeat the Mara. I don't think re-defeat is a word, it is now. And we got to see a little bit more of a relationship develop between the Doctor and Tegan. We were kind of missing that comfort inside between them but we actually saw it at the end of last episode and that made me really happy because I adore Tegan and we had a, a lot of kind of bickering between the two and it was nice to see this different side of things. However the opposite seems to have happened with Nyssa and she seemed more pissed off at the Doctor the last couple of stories than we have ever really seen her before and I'm not sure why that is. Hopefully we kind of do find out what is going on there. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this episode is about because if it's got something to do with dead people then I am going to be very happy um, because I love dark stories and hopefully this is one of them. I'm just going to get straight on into this. Let's go. Rude, heavy and inefficient. It's dull and fat and ugly. Just like you, Hippo. This guy's in the five doctors, I think. Hello. We're going for a ride. Oh, we're going to get into trouble. We'll be caught. Look at those shots. Oh, Tello, we can't. Oh, come on, Hippo. Do they call him Hippo because he's a bit chubby? Hey, you said just at the end of the drive. Oh, you haven't got a license, Tello. <laughs> Who needs one? Most people. Go back to the school, please. Oh, Tello, slow down. <laughs> I don't really understand why he's doing oh, this. The road, this car's a classic. Isn't that what you said here, They're gonna wreck it, aren't they? Look out! Oh. What is that? Who are you? A friend. What kind of friend? What is this place? Is this a your Black Guardian? Guardian? One who has your interests at heart. Oh. Am I dead? Merely sleeping. I don't think I'd really care if I were. I hate Earth. You would like to leave? Is he not human? Is it possible? We should have to discuss terms. No bones broken, just a slight concussion. <laughs> What's the damage at your end, Brigadier? Huh? In 30 years of soldiering, I've never encountered such destructive power as I have seen displayed here and now by the British school. Oh, my God. Well, how is it? He's been Can we just be right. keep every scene on this man? We haven't much longer. I need to know that I have your assent to our arrangement. Or has he possessed Find him? most accommodating of partners. Murder. I'm not sure I could go that far. But he's willing to go to a set and One of the extreme? most evil creatures in the universe. He calls himself the Doctor. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Steady on, old chap. You've had a bit of a knock. Doctor. I'm so happy. <laughs> the three of them are, aren't they? Yes, you're good. Tegan, Tegan, Tegan. Scared. There isn't any need to be. The Mara could only be destroyed during the process of its becoming. It had to be trapped between modes of its being. And he did that. The feelings of hate. Well, you're completely free of it now, Tegan. For you, the Mara is dead forever. Indeed. She's banging out some snazzy outfits as Nyssa. You want to leave us? You want to rest? You want to be surrounded by familiar things? Oh, hey! More polyps cut out? That would mean we were near an object in a fixed orbit in time as well as space. I'm afraid it's much more serious than that. Mild concussion and shock. You heard what Dr. Runciman said. We don't want complications, do we? I'm not going to bed. You're in enough hot water already. Mm -hmm. Get yourself in. I love going to bed. Oh. He's left him a gift. Where did this come from? It was in your jacket. Under the pillow. Well, Turlo, how are you feeling? Shit. Much better, thank you, sir. But Ibbotson I said... didn't want Ibbotson to get into trouble, sir. I knew he wasn't really able to drive it. You made him get in! I see. Turlo must get some sleep. I'll look in again later. This guy is an actual doofus. What's this going to do to it? So you are real. Is it a communications device? It's just a dream. Waking or sleeping? 
It may be. I shall be with you. Are we safe? There's a chance something's on a collision course with the TARDIS. Oh. Don't you know? Pray for us. <laughs> There's music. We've got to get out of the way. Cut. You converge with the warp ellipse. Don't Dematerialize. Don't be steady. We'll crash. I'll try and materialize on board the ship. This set. The elements of chance are ranged against the Doctor. Soon, he will be separated from the TARDIS and in your power. Amazing. Go to the Hellboy, to the Obelisk, and wait there. I will instruct you further. Oh! Uh, and what have you got to say for yourself? Please, sir. Sorry, sir, but it wasn't my fault. I love that he's a teacher. I'm very sorry, sir. Headmaster, I trust you flogged that young man within an inch of his life. Thank you, Brigadier. Beg your pardon? I feel that we should wait until Turlow is restored to health before we take any legal or disciplinary action. Yes, well, mind you, you can't really take it out on Ibbotson. It's my view that he was led into this by Turlow. He was. We've got a rotten one there. I had a word with Turlow. He said he only went along to protect Ibbotson. I like that the Brigadier you doesn't trust before. him. I don't know. Well, he was spoken to his parents. I thought you knew. They're dead. I deal with a solicitor in London. And a very strange man he is too. Oh, I love that these guys are far too old to be in school. What do you want? The head's going to write to my parents. The police may be called in to investigate. We could be expelled. It's all know. right, Hippo. I told him it was all my fault. Hey, you can't get up till Dr. Runciman says so. Goodbye, Hippo. Oh, Turlo, you can't leave me on my own. Oh, please, Turlo. Interesting place, this mind. For a ship. Strange ship. No sign of any passengers. It's eerily quiet here as well. Take it back. It's not the Queen Mary. It's the Mary's Mary Nest. <laughs> We've been. Oh, it's like art attack with the heads. It's actually a little bit like Ozma of Oz, isn't it? When does the person that rules Oz change his head? Everything on this ship is designed for pleasure. Yeah. The vehicle in the warp ellipse will be travelling for a very long time. It's a little bit like Space Invaders, that. Where are we going? Don't ask questions. This kid needs to find someone else to follow. Could you fly this thing, Doctor? Possible. You fly a ship like this, it's in perpetual orbit. Amazing. This ship's been in orbit. 3,000 years. For the purpose of. I wonder there's no one on board. <sighs> now what? We wait. Wait for that voice to come back. The base of the urn. Press it. Release the camouflage screen protecting the capsule. This is clever hiding it here. To look at this. The transmat terminal. The this is how they're going road. to get separated from the TARDIS. You escaped in a life raft? Almost six years ago. Where to? And there's your camouflage. What is it? That you know anything? Hello! <sighs> Explain that one to the teachers. Very art deco. The controls of the vessel are of no interest to you, Turlo. But it's a ship. I can get home. That's not part of the plan. I did not bring you here so that you could return home. Hey. You will obey me in all things. I will seek out the doctor. Mm. And destroy him. And destroy him. It's Turlo, sir. We're on what? the hill, sir. And there was this great big silver ball. And Turlo went inside and disappeared. Oh. I might have known. Does he know about the Guardian? Oh, doctor? Bad 
idea to leave it on its own. Look, it must have just returned. They're going to go in, and, the and it's going to send them to Earth. The capsule and the TARDIS must be dimensionally very similar. Can you switch it off? I hope so. I hope so too. I don't fancy a non-stop mystery tour of the galaxy. <laughs> it's on Earth. Earth. If these readings are correct, it's 1983 on Earth. I wonder what it's been up to all that time. Um, hello, you've not noticed there's a dude. Who are you? This is to... Yeah, don't trust him. Where did you come from? Earth? Well, the capsule just appeared. It was very strange. And you just walked in. Transmat capsules can do very nasty things to organic structures if they're not properly maintained. Yeah. He's too accepting of Taylor. There he goes. So it's interesting that this guy has turned up from the five doctors. He's a shit, far too old to be at school and isn't human. So it's interesting that he was chosen by the Black Guardian. I'm assuming he's been chosen, who has been hanging around for a good six years, probably just observing things. And it's intriguing to see that the Brigadier is now teaching at a school, but it seems like he's completely changed his personality. He's kind of happy for a kid to get flogged and he calls somebody disgusting just because they're slightly overweight. That is not kind of the Brigadier that I would have expected to have met. It's just bizarre. I can understand, obviously, time's passed and he's now in a different kind of capacity, in a teaching capacity, but it just seems a bit off for me but I'm so happy that he is back because it's the Brigadier you can't really be sad about the fact that he's here I'm intrigued by this a lot why the Black Guardian has chosen now to come back is interesting because it's been quite a long time since we last saw him I'm gonna go watch part two I will see you guys later thank you